In today's video, we're going to look at the refraction of light waves, which is when waves change direction as they pass from one medium to another, like from air into glass. And in doing so, we'll also cover ray diagrams and triangular prisms. In order to understand refraction, you need to know that waves travel at different speeds in different materials or mediums. And that this happens because different mediums have different densities. For electromagnetic waves, like light, the higher the density of the material, the slower the wave will travel through it. So if a wave travels from a less dense medium over to a more dense medium, like from air into glass, it will slow down as it passes into the glass. If the wave's traveling perpendicular to the boundary between the two materials, like it is in this image, then it will just continue straight on. However, if it hits the boundary at an angle, like in this case, then it will be refracted, which means that its direction will change. If it's passing into a more dense medium, like it is here, because glass is more dense than air, then it will bend towards the normal, which remember is this dashed line perpendicular to the surface. So we can see that instead of carrying straight on in this direction, it's actually bent upwards a little bit towards our normal. The next thing we need to look at is how to draw proper ray diagrams for refraction. Let's imagine that we have a piece of glass with an incidence or incoming light ray like this. And we have to draw the full ray diagram for the transmission of the ray through the piece of glass. The first step is to draw our normal, which will be perpendicular to the glass surface at our point of incidence, which is where the light ray hits the glass. Now, we know that if the incident ray didn't change direction, then it would look like this. But because it's entering a more dense medium, the wave will slow down and bend towards the normal. So we're going to have to draw it somewhere in this region. In your exam, it shouldn't matter exactly where you draw the new line. So I suggest just drawing it about halfway towards the normal like we are here. We call this line the refracted ray, and we have to continue it all the way to the other side of the piece of glass. At this point, we just repeat the process. So we draw our normal, think about where the ray would be if it didn't change direction, and then consider which way it's going to bend. This time, it's passing from the more dense glass to the less dense air so it will speed up and bend away from the normal. So something like this. And we call this ray the emergent ray. To complete the diagram, we also need to add the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction as well. The last thing I want to mention is that because the speed of the wave is changing, as it passes from one medium to another, then by our wave speed equation, which says that wave speed equals frequency times wavelength, the frequency or the wavelength must be changing as well. And you need to remember that the frequency always stays the same. It's only the wavelength that changes. So if the speed of a wave increases, the wavelength must increase as well and vice versa. Interestingly though, different wavelengths of light are refracted by different amounts. And this means that if we put white light, which contains all the wavelengths of visible light, through a triangular prism, then the different colors will bend to different degrees. And so they'll all spread out like a rainbow. That's everything for this video though, so hope you enjoyed it.
and we'll see you soon.